Hey, I'm out in the Wenatchee hinterlands. I'm going to be heading up into the hills east of Wenatchee, taking some circular route, obscure route to some small towns, Ephrata, Quincy, some other small ones that I can't remember right now. Uh, and there is some gravel. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, giving myself some outs so that if it's too gravelly, I can turn around and get back on the highway. Like I think I get back on the two or the 20, one of those. Anyways, uh, I'm out here just above Wenatchee and it's kind of oh, hazy and overcast. There's a light breeze. So hopefully the wind chills out and it doesn't really rain and I can get some good drone footage. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, but it's, you know, been a pretty easy drive out so far. I-90, then across to uh, Wenatchee, you know, what road that is, um, and then down into Wenatchee and a quick break there. And, and now I'm heading into the meat of the, the intent of the drive. So I will see you guys out there. Unfortunately, I got stuck behind a motorcyclist that was not as excited as I was to do the hill climb. Badger Mountain Road is a well-maintained two-lane road with a couple of nice turns on the way up. It has relatively clear sight lines and has a great view down to the valley below. Fun facts. Badger Mountain is a mountain in Douglas County in the U.S. state of Washington. It is the highest point in Douglas County and is located east of the Columbia River and northeast of Wenatchee. Badger Mountain is part of the Columbia Plateau. After the climb, it's mostly a descent with some curves down to the Waterville Columbia Plateau, then getting on Baseline Road and Waterville South Road Southwest. Descriptive naming, which is mostly straight and flat paired with slight rolling hills. Once out on the plateau, you get a real sense of the wide openness. And at one point, it did catch up to another WRX, but we didn't get to Bond. I don't think they noticed me. Exiting off of Road M Southwest, I get on the agar gravel of M Road Southwest, which, I don't know, it's a map thing, it could be the same thing. It's bizarre. <laughs> the naming is just, I don't, I don't get it. This leads me through the shallow Tichinol Canyon Road up onto the Duffy Creek Recreation Site on Sheehan Road. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what kinds of recreation one would do here other than driving and flying drones, but the views are really nice.
From the Duffy Creek Recreation Site, I head south, still on gravel, that goes up and over to Road End Southwest, or Rock Island Grade Southwest. The naming is inconsistent across different maps, which is super helpful when you're trying to figure stuff out. When you crest that hill, it's a gorgeous view with the road receding off into the distance. Heading down the Rock Island grade, I find it hilarious that this road has posted speed limits and arrow signs. First off, if you're going 40 plus down this hill, you're likely a rally driver and or intimately aware of all the turns and the various services and at the same time not minding the drops off to the side and the arrow signs. It's just, oh really, I'm going to go that way versus straight down and a plunge to my certain death? Thanks. Safety first. Leaving Rock Island grade and getting on SR28 West, I take a quick stop at Nelson's Country Market for some snacks and cold drinks. I will be heading northeast on Palisades Road through Moses Cooley, which eventually turns south again. When I slow down to pull into the market, you can see Palisades Road over to the left. This concludes part one. Next up in part two, I head to Afrata via Palisades Road 
and then from Ephrata, I take Martin Road Northwest into Quincy to finish the drive. Thanks for watching. See you out there.